Hey guys, welcome back. Um, what I have set up for you here on the table are um, some typical valves that you would find in a home, residential setting. Um, and I just wanted to briefly go over each one of them and uh, give you my take on, on how I go about using them or where you might find them in your home. But starting from my right, your left, what you, what you have here is a what they call a gate valve, and I'll, and I'll explain to you after I run through them. Typical valve that you find uh, in a lot of homes, and that works by uh, having a, an up and down gate. It's a metal gate that rides up and down a stem. Next to it, you would find, uh, this is what we call a globe valve, and this globe valve uh, is a valve that actually uses a washer, a rubber washer. Same type of washer you would find in a faucet. Uh, what has replaced these two, uh, you know, in recent years is, is, is the advent of the ball valve, which is uh, just what it stands for. There's a stainless steel ball in here up in between two nylon seats, and, and these have a, a much better life expectancy than, than, than the globe valve or the gate valve. And then the other valves you're going to find in your home, and typically you'll find these underneath your sink, to shut off the appliance or underneath your toilet to shut off the toilet water supply. These are typically referred to as speedway valves, speedy valves, or emergency water shutoff valves. And they come IPS that you can thread onto a, a piece of pipe or a nipple. And they also come copper. You can sweat them. As, as do these. Now, what I have here illustrated, these are all IPS, meaning you can screw these onto a piece of pipe, but these also come copper or sweat. Real briefly now, I just want to go over gate valve. A gate valve is typically you're going to find a gate valve. The main reason you're going to find a gate valve is at the front where the water comes in your home, and typically, typically they're going to be a larger valve. This is only a half-inch valve, but typically starting with one inch, you'll find these are the valves they use to shut the water off um, for the water supply to your house. And there's a little gate that rides up and down. And as you turn the stem here, turn the handle, the gate rides up and down inside the body. And again, you'll find them on water mains typically coming into your home. And you'll also find them on branch branch lines in your home where let's say you have a main water line running along you know the ceiling somewhere and uh, and then they branch off to you know individual floors you'll find gate valves there too also the problem with these is as with most valves are once you put a valve in you know the plumber comes he puts a valve in and then the valve just stays there for god knows how long until somebody needs to use it and what happens over time is they get frozen they get stiff, they get stuck. So the first person that generally comes along to turn these and feels a little resistance keeps turning and turning and turning until eventually uh, these gates will actually break inside. And what you end up with is a situation where if you break this, and you'll know because somebody will turn this and it'll keep turning and turning and turning and turning and turning until nothing happens. And then what? what Eventually, what, what, what ends up happening is when the gate actually breaks or the stem breaks, that actually ends up, what will happen is this, which is the gate. This is the gate. That will end up getting stuck inside the valve there. And you'll be, this little stem will actually break off and you can turn this, you'll be turning this till doomsday, and that little gate will just get stuck down inside the valve, meaning you're going to have to replace the valve, shut the water off. Um, some guys will even take the valve apart and pull the gate out, but that's what happens with these valves. They, they typically snap, they break. So, you know, as a utility valve inside the house, I wouldn't really recommend it, but nevertheless, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. They're out there. There's plenty of them out there. And you need to be aware of that. And if you feel any resistance on a gate valve, you should be very, very careful and go about it very diligently. 